The Wello is a brand new device that promises to be a lot more than just a smartphone case. It's a personal health tracker. And here to show us how it works is CEO and founder Hamish Patel. Okay, so this looks like an iPhone case. It feels like a typical iPhone case, very light. But mm -hmm. you say it can do much more. Tell me what all this can do. Yeah, it can actually measure your heart functions and lung functions with clinical accuracy in a few seconds. Can you explain to me why someone would want to do something like that? What are the use cases here? Yeah, I mean, heart and lung functions are two of the three biggest killers. So, so there is a big gap in taking care of your heart and lungs. And Velo with Velo, that is the gap that we plan to fill. Okay, can I try it out? Can you show me how it sure. works? Sure, it's pretty simple. Just tap on that phone case to your phone, turn on the app. So okay. I tap on this. And this is how it shows me how to hold the phone. Ah. So it's actually uh, forming a circuit from my left hand all the way uh, to the fingertip of my right hand. So like you can see, we'll take your blood oxygen levels, your ECG, your heart rate, your temperature, respiratory rate, your blood pressure, systolic, diastolic. We also take your HRV and a few more heart functions. And with the spirometer attachment, we'll take your lung function test too. There it is, so that's my blood oxygen levels, heart rate, respiration, temperature. This is um, your, a snapshot of your health in a few seconds on the phone. Very cool, okay. You can do it quickly. Okay. So as I'm doing this, it's basically shooting a current for Yes, me? so it's, it's actually forming a circuit, uh, and that actually takes your ECG, and we, take a whole lot of other readings too, like HRV, uh, which tells us your stress levels, okay. uh, which is very important. Okay. Yeah. That's your oxygen levels, heart rate, respiration, temperature. This is your ECG. It's pretty cool. All right, so I see these readings, these numbers. How do I know what it means? Right, so uh, with Velo, you actually, uh, we track what your normal levels are. And uh, when you take an immediate reading, uh, we will tell you where your readings at that moment fall in your normal range. So if it's in your normal range, it will be in the green zone. If it's not, then we'll red flag it for you. Okay. And for the blood pressure aspect of this, I'm not seeing my blood pressure on this app right here. Explain to me how it takes my blood pressure. Yeah, so we actually, uh, so first you have to calibrate, so you have to enter your details. Uh, and once your calibration is done, all you have to do is hold it over here. So we use, uh, so we use a couple of sensors over here and these two electrodes, and we use our own, uh, we've written our own algorithms on top of it. And that's how we can redu deduce your systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Okay, and, and all without a cuff, I suppose. All without a cuff. So this is the first device which actually does a cuffless blood pressure monitoring. And you've got something else in your hand here, yes. too. So there are add-ons to this? Yes. So uh, this is, Velo is actually scalable. So any future uh, body vital readings that we come up with, uh, you can actually, you won't have to buy another Velo device. Uh, you can scale up your, uh, the existing Velo case that you have by purchasing uh, an add-on device. And for now, uh, we're actually giving a spirometer unit, which takes your lung function tests. Uh, as a part of uh, a pre-order. So it's pretty simple. Uh, it's a tube which attaches over here, and there's a disposable tube which goes on top. So uh, that is a regulatory requirement. And you blow into it for a few seconds, and we'll tell you how your lungs are doing. Okay. Yeah. And now there are a bunch of quantified self-gadgets on the market now. You've got Fitbits, sure. you've got Jawbones, there are so many different things. How does this fit into that landscape? Yeah, so uh, this actually fits in perfectly over there since uh, and one of the things I should tell you is we, are, we actually sync all the data from the existing devices that you own, one of which is Fitbit. And we take all the sleep data and the uh, uh, step tracking data, and we club it with the body vital assessment that we take. And then that takes quantify itself to the whole new level, right? So we can tell you if walking is, or running is actually helping your heart. So stuff like that, you were, not, you were never going to know until now. Uh, what Fitbit and devices like that tell you is how, how, you, how much you're walking. But then that doesn't lead to uh, a quantified assessment of how your body is functioning because of the actions that you've taken. So Velo is a good device for that. So if you're a swimmer, you have a spirometer now, so it'll immediately tell you if swimming is actually helping your lungs. Right? So you have a good correlation. And of course, uh, we can do a whole lot of analysis 
post that data that we get. Tell me when I can get this, how much it costs, and where it's available. Yeah, so it's available right now at azoi.com, azoi.com. It's available for $199. Uh, and for during the pre-order period, we're actually giving this parameter for free. OK, and this is available beyond just the United States, right? Yeah, so uh, Velo is actually available in 34 countries at the moment. Why and did you decide to make it so widely available at launch? Normally, companies kind of focus on the United States, then maybe the UK yeah. eventually. Yeah, so uh, Velo actually makes a lot of sense in developing developed countries like United States or Europe or UK, which is where we have launched the product, and we're getting huge traction from these countries. Uh, but we also wanted Velo to create a huge impact in developing countries. So a place like India or Africa, where access to healthcare is not, uh, let's just say it's not in a good shape. Uh, spirometers, most of the clinics don't have spirometers. So you, people have to travel hundreds of kilometers to the clinic to get your oxygen levels done. So imagine a device like Velo with an Android phone or an iPhone. This could actually service a whole village, right? Uh, so we wanted uh, a larger set of people to get access to Velo because of the disruptive nature that it has in healthcare. Well, thank you so much for coming by Thanks. and showing us the Willow. Thank you.